Welcome back. After yesterday's huge rally in the center of Tel Aviv, African migrants are now seeking the attention of the international community against Israel's refusal to recognize their asylum requests. I-24 News correspondent Shachal Pellet heard both the migrants and their opponents. The second day of the migrant strike in Israel sent thousands of Eritrean and Sudanese citizens residing in the country marching from southern Tel Aviv towards foreign embassies, emphasizing they are not what a right-wing parliament member called them a year and a half ago. Chanting, we are not cancer, we are refugees and no more prison, the migrants tried to attract the attention of the international community, protesting in front of foreign embassies across Israel. We haven't any rights in our country. It's because of that, we come from uh, Eritrea, from our country to this by Sahara Desert to refuge here and uh, we don't have right here. Over 10,000 migrants gathered in a well-organized demonstration in front of the American, French and British embassies, making a non-violent call to overturn Israel's new anti-infiltration law, which allows their one-year detention in the new Holot facility on the Israeli-Egyptian border. I'm here just to protest the Israeli government. We are here just to know us, American government knows us that we are refugees, we are asylum seekers, we are not criminals. So just we want to tell them that we need protection. The UN Refugee Agency issued a rare statement yesterday criticizing Israel's detention policy, saying the new facility doesn't appear to be as open as it is designed to be. In the otherwise peaceful demonstration, a loud confrontation broke out as South Tel Aviv residents demonstrated against the migrants, claiming they have been suffering from rising crime and violence by the many illegal infiltrators residing in their neighborhoods. My heart breaks when 10 of Israeli people are standing here in between bars, when they're walking free, yelling, shouting and threatening not just us, but the police, the authorities. Those ushers are here to protect them from, from doing, you know, massacre to the people here, but they're not in South Tel Aviv to prevent a crime that is happening every seven minutes. After their silent march and unprecedented rally, the migrants' three-day strike ends tomorrow. Will they return to their temporary cleaning and maintenance jobs and surrender themselves to the detention center or continue to demand a change of policy? And will the Israeli government react? Time will tell.